Next distribution we are going to talk about is the binomial distribution. Here we have two parameters, n and p. And binomial distribution represents the number of successes in n independent Bernoulli p trials. So this p here is this p, and this n here is this n here. Okay, so you perform n independent Bernoulli p trials. Okay, so for instance, you have a coin where, um, let's say, if you, if you define success to be heads, the, the probability of heads in, is assumed to be P, and you, cause, you, you, you toss this coin N times, okay? Um, so the binomial distribution uh, represents the number of successes in this sequence, what, whatever the outcome is. Of course, if you have N Bernoulli trials, the number of um, successes you can have can be zero, one, two, etc., up to n. Okay, it's it's a finite support distribution. It cannot be negative. It cannot be more than n. Clearly, okay. So this is the sample space. Um, and let's let's assume your outcome is this sequence. Let's say theta one, theta two, up to theta sub n, and each of these thetas is either success or fail. Okay, and when, when you uh, consider the order important, and this is a distinct sequence, and the, the probability of every such sequence is given by p to the power k times 1 minus p to the power n minus k, where k represents the number of successes, right? Because this is a distinct sequence, and uh, if uh, any, any theta here is a success, it has the probability p, if it's a fail, it has probability one minus p. So this is the probability for a particular uh, outcome sequence. And we are interested in not the sequence itself, not the order, but the number of successes in the sequence. So out of n trials, uh, the sequences with k, exactly k successes in it uh, is n choose k. Right, clearly for out of N, you can choose uh, K successes to place in the sequence. So the number of such sequences is N choose K. So I'll have to multiply this with this probability to obtain the PMF of the binomial distribution. Okay, N choose K times P to the power K times one minus P to the power N minus K. Okay, and uh, of course the sample space is given here. At this point, uh, you can recall the binomial theorem. Uh, the sum of, uh, well, the, the nth power of a plus b is given by uh, this expression. The sum of these terms, n choose k times a to the power k times b to the power n minus k. Here, if you plug in, instead of a, if you plug in p, instead of b, if you plug in one minus p, you get this in this expression. Therefore, this is equal to this plus this to the power n. So p plus one minus p to the power n, which is clearly one because this makes one, uh, which is what? Which just shows that uh, this is a legitimate PMF because its sum uh, is one, okay? And since obviously when p is a probability, this is a non-negative function. And since the sum uh, makes one, it's a legitimate PMF. Next, let's talk about the expected value of the binomial distribution with the parameters n and p. Here I have given the derivation. Uh, let me just go over it uh, briefly. Here, of course, you have the PMF and you multiply it by k and add them up. Um, I'm giving this so that you sort of get an idea about how to do these computations. Well, obviously when you plug in this to a computation engine like Wolfram Alpha, it can give you directly the result, but it's, it's good to, that you know uh, how to actually compute these uh, sums and maybe integrations yourselves, okay? So here, uh, just observe um, when you plug in k equals zero, since you have a multiplier of k here, uh, that term will be zero. So I can start the sum instead of from k equals zero, from k equals one, okay? 
And then what else? Um, let me write the, the binomial term here and choose K as, as this expression. And then here I'm going to, well, uh, cancel out this K with, with the K in K factorial, okay? And then I'm going to pull out one P from here. So I'm going to write this as P times P to the power K minus one. And this as N times N minus one factorial, okay? So that gives me this, and I can pull out N and this P and this N to the outside of the sum because they do not depend on P. And the sum is from one to N. And here I have N minus one factorial and here I have K minus one factorial because K canceled out with this K here, okay? And then I have N minus K factorial, P to the power K minus one, this one, and one minus P to the power N minus K, okay? So now observe that this term here is n minus one choose k minus one. So I have here n minus one choose k minus one times p to the power k minus one, one minus p to the power n minus k. 